We woke up for sunrise and we got snow here in the Appalachian Mountains on April 4th. I still see some sunrise colors, so I'm sticking it out to see if I see something, but it's cloudy and snowy. It's seven o'clock in the morning, and uh, I think I'm losing all sunrise to this snow. As the colors that I had seen have disappeared now, Oh well. <laughs> We're gonna go back to the bunkhouse where we stayed last night. Look at this snow. It's April 4th. <laughs> Leo, what do you think of all this snow? Have you gone out in it yet? Uh -oh. <laughs> I mean, I think it is. I'd rather hide in snow than rain because. I feel like rain just on my jacket. It, we, we, I feel like it wets my jacket out faster. Yeah. You know what I mean? And the snow is like, the snow will probably do it, but it's just, and also the snow hits just more softly. It's like that, the rain, it messes with my head. The snow, I'm like, this is so cold. It's so cold. <laughs> So, I agree with you. I'm almost a little bit worried because I'm like, man, this, pro this probably could be the last snowfall of the year, uh, well, until winter. So, hopefully, I miss out on it. Yeah, kind of, it's kind of like, dude, I'm like, you know. I think it might be stupid, but I like, I kind of like the adver more adverse conditions as well. But also, if I'm here in a shelter, I'm kind of like, I don't know if I'm really going to go out into it. <laughs> you know, but it looks like it's going to be cold. It's nice to sit here with the warm coffee and like the wood burning stove and like watch it from the, the log cabin. It's nice. <laughs> nice log cabin here. So, so I met Hard Left over here. We met, we met last night. Um, and, uh, I've been chasing him ever since I've been reading some of the uh, jumbo hard left log entries in the log book. <laughs> and, and 2020, who I saw, what, was it yesterday? Two days ago, I thought. Uh, two days ago morning, um, appe appeared. And uh, <laughs> he came in late to the bunkhouse last night, so I didn't even know he was here till this morning. But it's good to see him. What's up? What's up? So, so there's a lady we're just sitting here waiting for breakfast with books behind me here. I'll tell you why I was smoking cigarettes up there. Dude, I came back down and I was... Look at this snow, trying to wait out a little bit, but it is snowing real a lot. All right, y'all, it is Stick the Eagle here. And today is day 42. What happened to all our warm 70 degree weather? Now, it's snowing again. It's April 4th and we're hiking and it's snowing. So, this is Dick the Eagle. I'm so glad you're with me, with us, uh, as we hike north in the Appalachian Trail. We are hiking from Springer Mountain, Georgia to Mount Katahdin, Maine. So let's keep on trekking northbound. Look at how pretty this trail looks this morning. Isn't this gorgeous? This is one of the reasons why I just adore snow. Cause it's so, so pretty here. I love when it snows. I don't like hiking in the cold so much cause my fingers get cold, but this is so pretty. All right, y'all, Woods Hole, great place, good breakfast, good dinner, great friends, good place to stay, 
I uh, did need the sleeping bag to stay warm because the fire wasn't warm enough to get all the way into the upstairs. But I was comfortable with my sleeping bag. I'm not complaining using, using the bag. That's what it's there for. That's what we have it with us for. Um, friendly people, not good Wi-Fi. So I could not upload any videos. Um, weary feet, I got one uploaded with a slow Wi-Fi. Um, Woods Hall, I said, had two uploading overnight and they only got the 22% uploaded. So very, very slow Wi-Fi. So because I need to free up the storage space on my phone, we're gonna have a little bit of change of a plan and because of the snow and more snow expected tonight. So wintry weather, not ideal for being in the outdoors. We're gonna cut our 19 mile day into a 12 mile day and go into Perrysburg and check out Angel's Rest Hostel. So that was not in my cards, but I need to upload videos and they have better Wi-Fi, I'm told. And that's probably because they're in town rather than in the country. Um, in the middle of nowhere like Woods Hole is. So it's not really, it's probably not even Woods Hole fault that they don't have good Wi-Fi, but they also said that if it's cloudy, the Wi-Fi gets slower because they have satellite Wi-Fi. So anyway, we're going 12 miles into Hiker's Rest at Perrysburg uh, through the snowy trail here. But the nice thing is this, that the snow doesn't stick to the trail as much as it does to the ground around it. So that's cool. I know it's three hostels in three days, but Gotta get these videos uploaded for you all. If not, I'd have a, if I didn't come go to Angel's Rest today, there would be a gap um, and you wouldn't hear from me for a few days because uh, I only have the next two days scheduled uh, of videos. So I've got to get these four to five more for you all scheduled so you can keep watching them. Also, if I did not go into Perrysburg today, I would not be able to record any upcoming footage because my storage space would probably still be an issue. So, this is all for the channel. Going into Perrysburg. And we'll get to show you a new hostel as well. I also stuck around at Woods Hole till just about 10 o'clock trying to get the videos uploaded before I left. I could have left at 8.30 easily but I hung around till 12, hoping that the videos would upload. And uh, it was also snowing, so kind of waiting out the heavy snow. But kind of waited out the heavy snow, which was nice, but no luck in the videos, so. I also pulled out my winter hat and gloves and a thick uh, neck gaiter for the first time in like five days. Hello, white blaze. The uh, snow covering these rocks is just gonna turn into ice soon enough. It's actually not slick now because the snow just fell. But uh, look at all these rocks that I have to maneuver. Like this is, even if the trail looks relatively flat, it still could be rocky like this. <laughs> No wonder 2020 caught up to me two days ago. He's talking of uh, doing a 30 today in this snow. <laughs> I mean, it's not that much snow, but the rocks can get slick too. And I haven't done a 30 yet. The most I've done is a 25.2. I've done two 25 mile days so far. 25.2, 25.1. I'll probably get to do a 30 at some point, but I haven't done it yet. And Yesterday and today can kind of qualify as rest days for me, and then I can push to four pines. The sign says view. Well, I would have missed it if uh, there wasn't a sign. So let's, let, let, let's go check it out. There we go. It's the Wilburn Valley again. You can see for a good distance underneath those clouds. And right there is the ridge line that we did yesterday. It's flurrying again, but I kind of like it. 
I would much rather snow than rain. Rain just makes everything wet. Snow is pretty and uh, it doesn't make everything as wet, if you know what I mean. Do you think the AT path is heated or something? Do they install little snow melters underneath the trail? Because <laughs> the tread of the trail has no snow on it right here, except for the rocks earlier. When it's just soil and grass, there's nothing. But all around, on either side, there's snow. I can't explain it. Master Splinter gave me some extra food again before I left. I've got to keep hanging around Master Splinter. We're about two miles in, a little over, and here is the Dock Snob Shelter. A little fire pit here. It's a nice deck with a picnic table. Obviously there's snow on it. Water is right there. It's still snowing a little bit. See all those flakes? It's pretty, a soft falling snow. I like the bench here. And the benches, these benches are nice. This deck is slick. And uh, here is the shelter itself. So, I'm going to sign the book, as I always do, whenever I can see the shelter from the trail, and this one I could. This is all the food that Master Splinter gave me. Thank you. He's taking a zero today, so he doesn't need this extra food because he's getting fed by Woods Hall. Somebody needs a new sign. <laughs> Isn't that just gorgeous? <laughs> I wanted to say this carefully, but uh, I didn't like Woods Hall as much as I thought I would. The meals were great. Community was good. Um, bunkhouse is pretty nice. It did take a while for the hot water to work uh, in the sink. It did work eventually, but you had to let it run for a bit before it got hot water. It might be just because it was really cold. And uh, there was a... The staff was mostly friendly. But sometimes, I'll just leave it there. One of the staff talks sternly to uh, another through hiker for using the wrong restroom. Because you're not supposed to use the restroom in the house if you're not a house guest. Which is fine, but just like explain it nicely, you know. Um, and another time I was exploring the house a little bit and I was going into uh, one of the rooms and he's like, Hey, 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 um, that's a private room. And I'm like, oh, I didn't realize I didn't see the sign. But uh, he just, there's, there's some ways to say that more friendly rather than say, hey, you stop or something like that. Wi-Fi works for simple things. Just not for uploading videos or watching videos and things like that. Like anything that requires a lot of bandwidth. Also a weird thing is that I need to have airplane mode off in order to listen to my audiobook. Like that shouldn't be the case. I don't know what's going on there. My phone might be confused. Nope, even without airplane mode on, the audiobook refuses to load. It says no internet connection. Doesn't need internet connection. I'm a little annoyed at that, so I just have to hike with my own thoughts right now. Without my audiobook, unfortunately, oh well, hopefully that will resolve itself soon, because it doesn't know what it's doing. I've gotten through chapter 7 of Early Riser's book, Pushing North, and I really want to listen to the rest.
Somebody in the uh, logbook back at Doc Snob wrote that they were expecting a blizzard in Perrysburg. <laughs> Apparently there's a DQ right next to the uh, hostel. Nice spot for a little break here. Little campfire ring, I'm sitting on a rock. It's still snowing, but it's melted a lot since this morning. It's in the 30s. Hey, by the way, I need to say this about Woods Hole. I was very impressed with their resupply. They had a very good resupply, a lot better than most other hostels have. So if you're looking for resupply, Woods Hole is a great option. Also, their dinner and their breakfast tasted so good. Always nice to have a home-cooked meal. By the way, if you're curious what my elevation is, I'm at 3,400 feet where it's been snowing, but also melting because it's 34 degrees now. The town of Perrysburg, where it says it's been raining all morning, is at 1,500 feet. So at 1,900 feet below the mountain level. Sometimes you get very different weather in town than you do up in the mountains. The weather has really let up and brightened up and most of the snow has started to melt. I don't think I'd have any problem getting to, look, blue sky, getting to Rice Field <laughs> if I didn't have to worry about uploading. But it'll be nice to check out another place and hopefully I can just make up the miles over the next three days. Shouldn't be a problem. It's so worth it. I really enjoy uploading and talking to you all along the trail. And I'm so glad to uh, be able to have all of you here. One thing that I'm also thankful for um, at Woods Hall as I descend through this muddy pit of trail is uh, that before each meal, they went around and asked each person to say what your name was, where you're from, and what you're thankful for. And I thought that was a really nice touch, just hearing what everyone else was thankful for. Um, some people said the, the snow, some people said friends, some people said a nice warm bed and a cold night, the opportunity to hike the trail, things like that. It looks like a totally different day out here. Look at the sky. Look how fast this weather changes. Wow. Today's 12 o'clock tip is to be prepared for anything in the mountains because weather changes fast. There were a couple people at the hostel who were thinking of staying through Saturday um, because they already sent their cold weather gear home. <laughs> it's gonna be cold through Saturday. So at least they have a nice warm place to stay, but uh, I haven't sent any cold with their deer home. I still have all of it. And uh, I'm glad I do, because I'm warm right now and I can keep making progress. Uh, <laughs> especially when it's going to be in the 30s during the day and the 20s at night again. So be prepared for anything in the mountains. It also goes for those day hikers that I saw climbing up into the Grayson Highlands in shorts and a t-shirt. And I'm like, it's in the 30s up there and windy but you're from Buffalo, so you'll probably be okay. But if you aren't from Buffalo, and not used to you, temperatures changing fast at higher elevations, and it being super windy, making it feel even colder, you need to know that if you're hiking in the mountains. Yes, if you start at the trailhead, you might just want shorts and a t-shirt, but in your pack, have a coat, have some protection from wind, just in case, be prepared as the scouts say. So doing this short day today is going to give me uh, 67 miles to do to get into Four Pines by Sunday night over three days. So I think that's possible. 67 miles over three days. That's, a, that's 320 plus potential miles. If I have some good weather, that'll be no problem. And it's snowing again. This is actually sleet. It hurts. <laughs> it's not snow, it's sleet. 
I spaced out. That is not the AT. But I went half a mile down that trail before I realized I haven't seen any white blazes in a while. I wonder why. And that is the trail leading to the Angel's Rest Summit. The AT, back that way a little bit, as I sit on this tree, asking this tree, why didn't you tell me you weren't on the AT? Because I took a break in this tree a little bit ago. <laughs> the AT goes to Angel's Rock, not Angel's Rock Summit. All right, folks, this is what it looks like coming up the trail where I made my wrong turn. I'm coming up the trail, coming up the trail, and I just keep walking straight. There was no marking that told me to go up here besides this little thing that's underneath the branch of rhododendrons. So I just kept walking straight. The only thing that I might have, should have noticed is this trying to deter us from taking that straight path instead of going up here. It's only the second time I've uh, missed a turn on, on, on this uh, trail. The first time was in the Great Smoky Mountains where there was a day hiker who said, you know this isn't the AT, right? That was on day three, three or four? Four, I think. Day four of the Great Smoky Mountains National Park, that is. Look at that cloud behind that mountain. That's remarkable. But look at this view. This is remarkable. Look at these rolling hills of Virginia. Isn't that beautiful? Look, I got this view over here. And then if I pan this way, I've got a little bit of a view over here. It's leading again. It's little ice pellets falling from the sky. This is fun winter weather, AT. Not rain, it's snow and sleet. Hey look, the ground's becoming white again. It's pretty white again. I love it. I'm gonna see something interesting. It's a survey marker. Appalachian Trail, Appalachian National Scenic Trail, survey marker. I see those for mountains, but not usually for the trail itself. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the trail is so delightful. So since we've every place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. <laughs> let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. I love the snow. It makes everything look so pretty. Snow! I got snow all over my pack. <laughs> all my rain cover. We are at the top, or very near the top, of Paris Mountain near Parisburg, and this view overlooks Parisburg. That gorgeous view we had from the uh, power lines just completely disappeared. It's all gone now. Well, friends, I have reached the Paris Ledge. It's the Paris Ledge, or the, yeah, Paris Ledge. Here we are. 
Oh, that rock is slippery. Okay, well, <laughs> there's Paris Mountain right there. There's some more of Paris Mountain until it disappears into the snow cloud. <laughs> well, it's okay. I had the great view from the power lines. <laughs> we'll continue on. <laughs> I love snow. I actually love snow. I love the snow that's collecting on my whatever this is. It's where I put my trash. Easy spot to hold my trash. <laughs> anyway, we've got rocks. We've got rocks behind us. Let's keep hiking in the snow. Yo, this is only the second day I've seen snow on the Appalachian Trail. And uh, that day it snowed overnight, but wasn't snowing during the day and then it just turned to ice. So this is the first day it's snowing during the day while I'm hiking and I'm loving it. And need I remind you that it's April 4th today? April 4th. <laughs> Are you saying if I go that way, I'll find spring again? It's no longer winter in that direction, just two tenths of a mile? Ah, uh, I'm not sure I believe you. <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> spring came back. Spring is back. What? What is with this AT weather? The view is starting to come back too. This is kind of a cool area. Here we are. Angel's Rest View Rock. I think I'm going to go check it out. This is the Angel's Rest Rock. This is where angels rest. <laughs> There's a cloud coming in again, but not bad. That's a train. I couldn't leave here without saying a quick prayer for angels rest. It's snowing again. Look at all this snow. It's like really actually snowing. All right, Far Out says we have a really steep descent now, and we, got to, we get to do it in the snow. So let's do it here on the Appalachian Trail. I love the snow. <laughs> I have to enjoy the last snowstorm of the year, right? Right. Look at that, blue sky, perfect weather. <laughs> this is what I've been descending. Wow, seriously, look at this view. There's the new river, it's a bridge of some sort. And uh, you can see for miles. This is so cool. There goes the huge snow cloud I was just in. <laughs> and then there's the town and blue sky. Hello up there, son. <laughs> this weather is crazy. You know, I should have just stayed up at Angel's Rest for a little bit to see if I could capture some of this, but I can still see a good amount from here. But I looked at my weather app. Uh, app of weather said Parisburg is partly cloudy and I look around and I'm like, uh, snow. <laughs> this is truly sun descent. That's where I came down from. 
And then we have this switchback right here. Hello, pile of rocks. I'm like, what am I supposed to do with you? But then I see, oh, there's a blaze over there. So somehow I've got to get to that tree. Okay. Well, it is three o'clock and it uh, doesn't even look like it snowed down here, does it? But I promise you it was snowing. Maybe not down here, but at least up there it was. Anyway, three o'clock, I've been hiking for five hours and uh, I've done 10 miles, or no, 12 miles. So, 12 miles in, uh, oh, almost 12 miles in five hours, or a little over five hours is not bad. Ordinarily, I would not be stopping at this time, but I need to upload you all some videos. Look at that dark cloud covering that mountain again. Angel's rest. I think it's gonna keep snowing up there. Look at how green this is. Isn't that cool? There is a random power line, like just over my head, just going through the woods here. Must be going somewhere. And now it's starting to rain. We're about a mile away from the road crossing that goes into town. Rain has stopped and moved over that direction. And now the sun came out again and this is my view. Isn't that pretty? those mountains. I even see a rainbow. Can you see the rainbow? I hope you can see the rainbow. That's cool. So the trail descends down into Perrysburg and takes that bridge across the river and then up into that mountain range, which is on, which is on the other side of the river. We're descending down this thing, which is pretty steep. But you know what, Master Splinter and some of you keep telling me that uh, I need to take a zero. So I don't feel too guilty about taking a 12 mile day and uh, not leaving till 10 and getting here at four. So feel good about taking a rest for myself. <laughs> Look at all these pretty purple flowers. Anyone know what they're called? They're pretty along the side of the trail. I'm walking through a whole field of them. They're everywhere. <laughs> it must be springtime. Spring must have arrived. Look at all these flowers. Nice. Appalachian Trail. Paris Cemetery and Appalachian Trail. More dark skies moving in. When I see buffet, I go check it out. That all you can eat buffet for ten ninety nine. You can come down here, twenty four hour laundry room right here. Have a nice little hangout area and then a little kitchenette right here that you can use. And this is the bathhouse. I'm rabbit today. Yeah. Oh, I'm not. That door's locked.
We had a good dinner at the Chinese buffet where we were able to eat as much as we wanted to. So there were other hikers there as well. So we really enjoyed that. And uh, now we're still trying to upload videos, but they are going faster than they did at Woods Hole. So hopefully I'll be able to get at least two and hopefully the last two yesterday and today up as well tonight. But uh, making progress on that, we are on an AT journey. And uh, if you'd like to follow along on this AT journey, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel. You may hit the notification bell as well if you want to get alerted. But uh, if you'd also like to follow along on Instagram for live updates, feel free to do that as well. Same handle as my YouTube, at Stick the Eagle. For now, this is a fun journey, y'all. Remember to embrace this journey. And always, happy trails.